What's going on nation? Today I'm going to share with you my top 5 dumbbell tricep exercises to help you build more muscle and strength. Now the key to building big triceps is making sure that you're targeting all three heads throughout your tricep routine. You also want to make sure that you're performing the movements that require the most energy first. This is beneficial for two reasons. Number one, you can focus on building more strength on these exercises. And number two, you will pre-exhaust your triceps so when you get to the exercises that require less weight, you can focus on form, making them more effective in terms of breaking down muscle and building a stronger mind-muscle connection. Remember, without a strong mind-muscle connection, you could be wasting some serious time in the gym. So click the link below to learn more about it and how to improve it. Now, on to my top five dumbbell tricep exercises. The first exercise is my favorite, and it's called a power bomb, or a dumbbell seated overhead tricep extension. And it's really great for targeting the long and medial heads of your tricep. Now this exercise can be done one of two ways. You can do it standing, or you can do it seated. I prefer to do them seated if my goal is to solely focus on destroying my triceps. When you do this exercise standing, you put a lot more pressure in your core, so you won't be able to lift is heavy and if you're not used to it or like I said if the goal is to really focus on your triceps you're gonna have to flex your glutes flex your core and maintain all this stability which is taking energy away from the actual exercise so do it either way I'm gonna do mine seated so for this movement what you want to do is have a seat just like this from here kick the dumbbell up to your shoulder once in place you're gonna extend your arms up over your head keep your palms facing forward so keep your wrist straight you notice I have the dumbbell uh, parallel to the ground and then from here while only bending at the elbows you're gonna come back behind your head just like this all the way down all the way to the top of the of the movement and then repeat make sure you're controlling the negative the entire time and then you're really flexing and squeezing your triceps back to the top of the movement. Now you might see a lot of people start to go too heavy on this exercise and this starts to happen and the range of motion gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Don't be one of those people. Use weight that you can handle all the way down, all the way up, and repeat for your entire set. Now a couple other tips I want to share with you guys. As you start moving into heavier weight with this exercise, you might notice a bit more pressure in your core, especially around your lower back. And that's happening for a few different reasons. One of the most common ones is because your body is slowly sliding forward, so you're changing all the angles and you're putting a lot more pressure here, and your back is arched and you're trying to, you know, basically perform the movement without proper form. I like using seats where I can actually push myself in and make sure my butt is all the way back against this pad. Number two, if you're not activating your internal belt, especially when going heavy, that's when you're going to start to run into problems. And what that means is, when you're doing this exercise and you have the dumbbell up and over your head, take in a breath, flex your abs, squeeze your core all the way down, all the way up, breathe out, take in another breath, all the way down, all the way up, and repeat. So make sure you're activating that internal belt, give it a shot, and if you want to try it standing, that's okay too. Whatever works for your workout. The second exercise is the Dumbbell Skull Crusher. And actually, the other variation with the barbell is one of my favorite tricep exercises as well. And I'm sure you've probably done that one, and there's only a few differences between doing that and this. And the main one being using dumbbells and not a bar. So, what, ha what happens when you bring a dumbbells into the equation is you always have to focus on having more control. And we're going to talk about that when doing this movement. It's a really great exercise, once again, targeting the long and medial heads of the tricep. And what you're going to do is get into place by kicking up the dumbbells just like this. And you're going to hold them straight over your head, palms facing each other. Once in place, the way you perform this movement, squeeze the dumbbells as hard as you can, and while only bending at the elbows, control the dumbbells down by the sides of your head. Once fully descended, back to the top of the movement, flex your triceps as hard as you can, and repeat. 
Now, this is the most important thing, guys. When doing this exercise, if you don't keep the bottom half of your arm perfectly straight and in one place, you're going to take a lot of the muscle engagement, which means muscle damage, out of the exercise, and you will not be hitting your triceps as, possibly, as hard as you possibly can. What I mean by that is if you start doing this and then this, it's like half the tension is basically gone, almost like 60-70%. Like you can feel the difference. So keep your arms straight, control all the way down, all the way up, really squeeze those triceps, and repeat for repetitions. The third exercise is going to be the dumbbell tricep press. This is a lot like the close grip bench press, only difference is you're using dumbbells and you're gonna keep your palms facing in throughout the entire movement. So guys, grab your dumbbells, and what you're going to do is get into position just like this. Make sure you're set up on the bench properly. Turn the dumbbells so palms are facing your face. And then from here, you're gonna lower the dumbbells over your torso. And you'll notice that when I get to the bottom of the movement, I'm forming 90 degree angles with my arms. And now from here, and this is the important part, Press back up over your torso and flex your triceps as hard as you can. I don't want you guys going down like this and then as you press, pushing up and over your chest. That's gonna bring more of your chest into the movement. Now if you've never done this exercise before and you're not used to it, I recommend using light weight focus on that mind-muscle connection and get used to pressing over your core as opposed to the traditional bench press, which is over your chest. So just like this, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, and that's how you do the exercise. So guys, a really great movement for targeting the long and medial heads of the tricep. Just make sure you don't make the mistake of going too heavy and you start thrusting the dumbbells in the air. Make sure you can control the dumbbells with every single rep, squeeze them as hard as you can, and feel the burn on every single set. So the next exercise requires a bit more focus on form than using heavy weight. And it's a really great movement to target the long and medial heads of the triceps. And it's the seated dumbbell single arm overhead tricep extension. So for this exercise, what you're going to do is grab one dumbbell, you're gonna hold it up and over your head with your palm facing forward, put your other hand on your hip just like this, make sure your back is flat against the seat, and then from here, what you're going to do while only bending at the elbow is control the dumbbell and bring it down behind your head as far as you can and then return back to the starting position and repeat for reps. Now when performing this movement guys you want to make sure that when you get to the top you're flexing and squeezing your tricep as hard as you can and you're controlling that negative the entire way down. If you start using weight that's too heavy you might notice that you thrust the dumbbell into the air by contorting your body and you let it drop way too fast so you're thrusting and then dropping and you're not working your triceps at all. Control the dumbbell by squeezing it as hard as you can, going nice and slow on the negative, back up to the top of the movement and then repeat. And it also goes without saying that as soon as you finish on one side you're going to switch and move to the other side and complete the same amount of reps to complete one set. Now another quick tip for this exercise, I actually like doing it towards the end of my workout when my triceps are already a bit fatigued. I find that if my triceps are already fatigued, I can use that same 20 pound dumbbell and get a much better workout with it because I can isolate and really target the area. It's warmed up, all the blood's in there, the muscle's already starting to break down, and if you have a hard time with my muscle connection, you can utilize this to help with that as well. And then lastly, for those of you who need to warm up your triceps a lot before going into your routine, maybe your elbows start to hurt when you start doing your workouts, if you grab like a five or a 10 pound dumbbell and do one to two sets of 10 to 12 reps per side, it's a really great warm up before going into the actual routine. The last exercise on my list is the dumbbell tricep kickback. And again, this is an exercise that I like to use as a finisher at the end of my workouts when my triceps are already fatigued. And now a lot of people when they do this exercise, they use a lot of momentum because they use too much weight. But I don't want you guys to fall victim to that. And what I mean is, you see a lot of this happening where you're like, boom, and you just kind of 
thrust it out, put some hips into it. It's like you're doing a dance move on the bench. I mean, if you want to dance, I guess you could do it, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to hit that tricep. So if you really want to focus on isolating that lateral head, the way you're going to perform this movement is first, grab a light enough pair, a light enough dumbbell that you can handle, get into position by posting with one arm and then posting with the opposite leg. I like to actually kind of stick my butt out and arch my back to make this as solid as possible. And then from here, bring your elbow up to keep your arm perpendicular to the floor. Squeeze the dumbbell as hard as you can. Fully extend back. Hold for a second. Squeeze that tricep as hard as you can. Control the movement back to the starting position and repeat for repetitions. And this is what's important, guys. If you go too heavy, you're not going to be able to hold and squeeze for a second at the top, and you're not going to be able to control the negative. And the negative is where all the muscle damage happens. That's where most of it's happening. So all the way back, all the way down. Don't do any of this, and then thrusting the dumbbell back forward. Nice and tight, all the way back, all the way down. And obviously, as soon as you finish on one side, you're going to switch and complete the same amount of reps on the other to complete your set. Now that you guys know my top five dumbbell tricep exercises, be sure to switch up your tricep workout by adding in a few of these exercises, or if you want to make a routine out of the list, follow these guidelines. Three sets per exercise, 10 to 12 repetitions per set, and only rest 60 to 90 seconds max between sets and exercises. And if you haven't already, check out my top five dumbbell bicep exercises as well. I'll toss a link to that in the info section below. Be sure to like, click that subscribe button, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. If you're looking for a website that lets you build your own profile, interact with other community members, log your daily meal plan and add your own custom foods, find the exact routines you're looking for to reach your goals on a weekly basis, new recipe ideas to help improve your meal plan, and you enjoy learning new things to take your workouts to the next level, join MusculaStrength.com. What's your maximum output?